wanted to sing that song this morning because I told the secretary to put Jesus loves even me. Yeah, but she put that, so that's ordered by God. Amen. That's ordered by God. Amen. Amen. We just thank God for all of you this morning. We thank God for each and every one of you. We ask his blessing over your lives. We ask God's anointing in your life. Thank God for all of you. We pray for our students who will be headed back overseas and they won't be here with us for our back to school because it's time for them to get back on the job of learning to make their selves better, to honor the gifts that God has put in them. Amen? Amen. Amen. My grandson have a little girlfriend, so he done gone. He couldn't wait to, to get out here quick. He, he took off and he, he called here to spend a week with a girlfriend. <laughs> but uh, bless God for Jesus. Uh, so we want uh, to just pray for all of them as they leave to go back to better their lives or to prepare themselves to better their lives. Amen? Uh, those who are here in Nassau will speak to you the next two weeks. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want us to look at the scripture read by Minister Gregory. Uh, coming from the book of Ephesians. Remember last week we start in Ephesians and we hope to finish this month dealing with Ephesians. The book of Ephesians uh, had a wonderful time last week when we spoke about the purpose of God uh, in our lives. And now today we want to talk about living in the joy of the Lord. Living in the joy of the Lord. Ephesians 1 verse 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Living in the joy of the Lord. I'm sure today that all of us here assembled and the many that listen and view by way of the electronic media would agree with me when I say that the chief aim of mankind is to know God and to enjoy him through the fellowship of praise and worship. One of the things that bring joy to the heart of God is our fellowship with him. And he wants us to enjoy 